For the first time since WADA has appealed the decision around Yannick Sinner, uh, the CAS has actually come out with a statement talking about a little bit about the lack of time frames and also what's going on with their process. Let's go have a look at what they had to say. So this is what they had to say in their statement. In its appeal to CAS, WADA seeks the annulment of the challenge decision and a new decision ruling that Yannick Sinner has committed two ADRVs pursuant to Article 2.1 and or 2.2 without application of Article 10.5 TADP, no fault or negligence. WADA requests CAS to impose a sanction of a period of ineligibility between one and two years on the athlete and to confirm the disqualification of all competition results obtained by Yannick Sinner during the BNP Paribas Open in Indian Wells, USA. The CAS arbitration proceedings have commenced in accordance with the Code of Sports Related Arbitration, the CAS Code, the arbitration rules governing CAS procedures. Parties are exchanging written submissions and the panel of arbiters will decide the matter is being constituted. Once constituted, the panel will issue procedural directions for the next phase of the procedure, including the holding of a hearing. Following the hearing, panel will deliberate and issue an arbitral award containing its decision and the grounds for it. At this time, it is not possible to indicate a time frame for the issuance of the decision. The CAS panel's decision will be final and binding with the exception of the party's right to file an appeal to the Swiss Federal Tribunal within 30 days of limited grounds. So there you have it. That is what we're looking at now and what we're waiting for. And there's no time frame. This could take, we know it could take a while. It could take months, six months, three months. We don't know. Uh, and it's kind of out of Yannick Sinner's hands at this point. He's just got to give a right, written submission and you know, talk about his his events, of course, what we've already heard through that ITIA procedure a couple months ago. But man, it's man, it's just such a dark cloud to hang over Yannick Sinner, who's, of course, had such a great couple of months. You know, did lose in Beijing over the weekend, but did play so well at the US Open and in Cincinnati. And it seems like he's just getting back on track. Of course, the ATP Finals is coming up at the end of the year in Turin, where, you know, he'll be the home favorite of course, being in Italy. So we'll see if this affects his results because we did see that when he did get the first notifications back in March, his results did change over that clay season and the grass season and he did get sick a lot and he said that that was a factor having that over his head. Let's see if that's a factor for the next couple of months. But there it is, Yannick Sinner and what is going to happen with the CAS and wider appeal going forward.